what is up guys welcome back to the show it's beakers lab the gang is back you guys know what it is hey we're back here today guys with another sneak peek we're showing you the next troop it's coming to the game in this next update and guys we're still on these super troops we got a super goblin. You knew it was coming. I mean, actually, a lot of you guys, I heard in the comments, you said it's probably going to be a super archer, which would have made total sense. I would have been cool with that, too. You get a super barb, you get a super archer. They would have gone well together. But I actually think this is going to go pretty well with it. Once you guys see it, you're actually going to be like, hey, that kind of is a sneaky archer. Because <laughs> you guys know in the builder base, you got the archer. It's, it's invisible for the first five seconds, right? Guess what this goblin does? Uh, same thing. Cool. So anyway, guys, here it is. You see in the bottom left corner there, it is just like the builder base with these super troops. They have an ability. They each have a unique ability that they do. And it's cool. I mean, it's consistent, you know? We understand this because it, it exists over there. And I do think the ability should be better. Five seconds does not sound like enough, but we'll get to that later. Let me look at the stats, guys. And um, yeah, you know what I don't like about this? Okay, three housing spaces. That's better than five, but I think some of these are too big housing space wise. Why not smaller? Why not make it two? Why not make it one? Either way, guys, Beacon and Lulu are back. The whole team is here. Lulu, you're very chill today. Do you want some food? Uh, I'm assuming the answer to that is yes. Do you want some food? <laughs> I was like, is she really not going to want any of this? Okay, cool. Let's go. Okay, let's look at this guy. So we just are using the goblins. It's kind of a good way to check it out, though. Look at this. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Okay, right there. How many troops was that? 12 troop spaces. It got it done. You know, you got to admit, <laughs> it got it done. I think that's the only thing you're going to be able to say about these things is they will always get done whatever you drop them on. Well, if it's a resource building, you know what I mean? And if you're trying to clear the outside of a base or you're trying to like, you know, maybe at the end of a three star, you're trying to finish up the uh, finish up the raid. Maybe this is perfect, dude. M maybe. I don't know. Is a normal goblin going to do it as well? Probably, but hey, I guess we'll see. Boom. Yo, we should try to two-star this base with just goblins. <laughs> That'll be cool. All right, we got to take these out, though. We got to take out any distractions because, um, yeah, they're goblins. They're dumb. I mean, they're not dumb. Actually, they're smart. They go for exactly what they want, which I respect. Okay, let's go in here. Yeah, because we're going to take that out, right? Yeah. Dude, that's so cool that the... um. <laughs> All the Teslas popped up at the same time. I think even the queen got it, got involved, right? Doesn't make any sense. How can she see me? That's dirty with all the Teslas at once. Anyway, guys, here, let's do this. One, two. Oh, man, that just tore it up. Huh. All right, guys, so over here, we got a couple of jump spells, but why don't we just bomb right in here? Boom. Nice, dude. Okay, that's the final building right there. Yes. Okay. Uh, boom. Okay. We'll also do a. We'll also do a clone once we get in. Yeah, buddy. Here we go. All right, clone rage. Oh, I got you, buddy. I got you, buddy. Get it. <laughs> okay. There's no way we're gonna get a two star. Maybe. Nah, I don't think so. Dang, they're just really squishy. What can you count on them for except for like, you know, the first five seconds? Oh, we got it? Dope. Anyway, guys, you get the point here. You're going to be able to count on these guys for the first five seconds when they're invisible. And then maybe for like two seconds after. But then they're done. Like, I, I don't know, man. I don't know. They're not very tanky. They're going to die really easily. So I'm sure some people are going to come up with some great uses for them. And I do think it's either going to be funneling, like, uh, you know, clearing corners and stuff or finishing up a three star, you know, at the end of a base when, when you got like three buildings left. We'll see. Cool. Hey, we got to put the shades on, guys. It's pretty bright in here. And, you know, I think it's honestly because I'm wearing this white jacket. <laughs> It's like all the light is bouncing off me, like into my eyeballs. Anyway, also look at this guy's code judo. That's my dude judo. You guys sub to him. If you don't uh, check him out, judo sloth, great YouTuber. And it's, you're going to learn a lot over there. So you've been warned, uh, you know, you're not going to learn much on Beaker's lab. You probably are over there. You've been warned. Uh, so anyway, guys, let's go back in and look at this. If we do a friendly challenge, we actually saved some of the barbs from yesterday's video. So we have a combo of each. Normally, you're not going to be able to do this. Normally, you can only make one at a time because you have to boost them. 
you know, in the sauna thing, which is weird. I'll give you that. This whole thing is weird. We're not really used to it yet, but I think it's going to be fun in the end. And it's at the very least just going to be like a weird thing you do sometimes. You know, you boost your, your barbs if you want them. Cool. All right, guys, we're going up against Lulu's lab. So in the clan castle, what did I get? Oh, more goblins. So this is one thing that I was interested in checking out. So if we do a clan castle full of these goblins and we drop them on a corner, is that going to clear the corner? I mean, I would assume it is. It's going to clear all the uh, all the resource buildings. That's a good thing to check out right now. So let's do that. Boom. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought, dude. Like that's going to... But that's not worth it. Like if we dropped a, a clan castle full of Valkyries, it would have done more than that. You know what I mean? So that's not worth it. Okay, that was just a thought. I mean, I, I think a clan castle full of these guys, these barbarians is gonna be sick because they're gonna come out there like raging. They're gonna be ready to go. They're angry barbs. They're gonna take out a bunch of stuff in the corners. And I, I do think that's what I'm gonna use them for. If anything, it's gonna be stuff like this. Boom, boom. Look at that, dude. I mean, they're, they're going hard. They're, they're taking stuff down really quickly. That's what we want for sure. Cool. All right, so over here, let's get... Uh, Let's see here. Boom, drop that. Boom, drop that over there. Okay. Uh, I guess everybody else is just going in the middle. <laughs> Let's go. So we don't have any sort of jump or rage. I mean, we have rage, but we don't have any jump or quake or anything. So let's just try to rage through the wall, I guess. What's up? What are you guys doing? What are you doing? All right, heal. Okay, so where are the goblins gonna go right now? Yeah, they're gonna do something dumb. Um, is there any more barbs in there? It is hard to tell, man. It is wicked hard to tell. So I'm gonna hit that just to keep everybody alive. Here we go, here we go. Coming in hot, coming in hot, goblins coming in hot. All right, let's get the heal down. I don't know if they're gonna make it, dude. Yes, yes! I cannot believe that worked. So we're not even gonna get a two-star here because there were no yeah, we just didn't take enough buildings out, but man, I think when, when, oh man, imagine if every single troop in the game gets like one of these eventually, where you can gear them up, you can make them better. I mean, imagine the possibilities. There's going to be some good ones. Even if the first two here are not like, you know, the barbs, I could use those. The goblins, I don't know if I'm going to use these ever, except for like just messing around. But dude, I think there's going to be some crazy possibilities in the end when all of these come out. I, I don't even know how many are coming out, but it doesn't matter. Eventually, you know, the game keeps growing. I think this is going to be cool. I hope. I hope so. Guys, let's do this. So I brought some quakes this time so we can just bust open the whole thing. Let's do this. Hang on. One, two, three, four. Dope, dude. That's going to be sick. Okay, so let's set up a funnel. Um, one, see, this is what I'm saying. You might be able to do this. You might be able to drop one goblin on each of these like elixir pumps and set up a decent funnel, a halfway decent funnel. I mean, you know, it's not gonna be great, but at the same time, we're only using two little troops. So maybe, maybe, you know, I think that's gonna be the main use, honestly, I honestly do. So let's do this, let's do that. And in the clan castle, we have the goblins. So we'll save those for the end, but let's get everybody down. Start getting some barbs in there. We should do them slowly. Yeah, for sure. All right, boom, boom. Heal spell. Freeze you guys. <laughs> Rage spell. Yo, if this works good, like I'm done. I'm straight done. Hey, where are you guys going? Oh, I forgot the goblin. Dude, you're never gonna get the goblins to go where you want to because that's just inherently what they do. They, they go to the resources, so. Okay, there we go. You gotta just make sure you know where they're going. I guess that's the bottom line. Okay. Queen, don't die. Oh, here we go. Invincible. <laughs> I love when you do that, when you hit the warden ability around like squishy troops, like like uh, barbs and goblins and stuff. Awesome, man. So this one was actually good. This, this raid ended up actually being good. Cool. Boom. Oh no, they got the swirly trap. No. That's a bummer. Anyway, guys, we pretty much gutted this base as far as its loot goes. Not bad. <laughs> wow. I think they're going to be really good at cleanup, dude. They're going to be really good at cleanup because a goblin is fine at cleanup. But these are... I don't know. Maybe somebody should do the math. But is three goblins as good as one of these? Or is one of these better, you know 
bar none, like absolutely better. I'm not really sure. I feel like probably not because this has the ability and a normal goblin doesn't have that. So maybe they didn't make these super OP, but I, I hope, dude, I hope these super troops end up being really good. I mean, the name, you know, you can't make super troops and then have them not be good. Cool, just saying. All right, guys, let me go through here and see if there's a single player map, uh, one of these that would be good. Hang on. No, 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 <laughs> no. Um, hey, I'm trying to figure out if one of these, that, that's the worst. No way. I mean, we could try it. <laughs> you guys want to try with this? Actually, wait a minute. So if we take out the, the resources, then the goblins will go for the rest of this stuff. Hey, let's do this. Let's do it. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Boom. This is gonna be so goofy. This is gonna be goofy, man. All right, so uh, let's hit one of these, I guess. Help out the wall. Come on, dude, let's get that wall. Come on, come on. Yo, that barb is actually holding up. Wow. All right, cool. Here we go, almost ready. Queen, don't die, come on, man. All right, queen. Okay, we'll do about half of the barbs and then we'll go, oh no, ah! Okay, okay, we're good. And then we should do, um. The rest of these, we should do the clan castle. We'll probably hit that. And then we'll do the rest of these. Cool. Stop it, man. This is wild. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. We're going to sign off on that note. But thank you for coming out. We love you guys. Again, I always say this, but I don't think me being like... I think some YouTubers and some like really good clashers are gonna come up with some really good ideas for these. I'm just gonna come on here and like, you know, make fun of them and whatever. But I do think some people are gonna come up with some really good ideas, including Judo. Dude, if you guys wanna see some good ideas, he's probably got some already. I mean, I should just ask him. I think I will later uh, when we're on at the same time. But guys, I, I don't know what to think about Super Troops yet, but we still, uh, you know, I, I don't really make up my mind until I see the actual update. You guys feel the same way? I mean, you can see something in a video and even for me, like I am in this developer build playing it, but it's not the real game. It doesn't feel like the real game. So I think once we get it in the real game, it's gonna feel a lot different. And we're gonna be able to say like, okay, is this worth it for me to spend this 50K dark to get this, you know, super barb or super goblin? I mean, I'm definitely gonna mess with it because I can do that. But for you guys, it's gonna be tougher because you know, it's a lot of dark and time. You, you know, you're only getting for a limited amount of time. So it's kind of weird, cool. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. Thank you for coming out. We love you guys. If you enjoyed this one, let us know in the comments below. If you got anything to say about the super troops, let us know in the comments below. Leave two for Lulu. Uh, check out Judo. And I guess that's it for today, man. Oh, whoa, whoa. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for coming out. We love you guys. We will see you right here tomorrow on Beaker's Lab. Until then, uh, watch this wonderful <laughs> stream of goblins going in and out. They're weird, man. They're very weird cool. Anyway, we love you guys. Leave two for Lulu. Uh, use code Beak, and we'll see you right here tomorrow on Beaker's Lab. Peace, gang.